My name is uh, Nina Kutro Kelly. I compete for judo in the plus 78 kilogram category. And I am originally from Albany, New York, but I train in San Antonio, Texas. And I just want to say, go USA, and uh, that I'm ready to get started. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the entire Olympic experience. I've comp uh, competed twice in the Pan Am Games, which is a similar but much smaller uh, event. And I'm just really stoked that it's going to be in Tokyo, the birthplace of judo, Japan. And um, I'm excited to, you know, show the years of judo experience I have. I'm the oldest American judo competitor in history in uh, the Olympics. And uh, that's, you know, when they told me that I was a little bit embarrassed, but uh, it actually just shows that I haven't given up and uh, I'm just really looking forward to do whatever I can do in Tokyo. The big joke was that when I competed in Budapest, everyone was saying, you're not done yet, you're not done yet. Because everyone on the team is five, six, eight, 15, even years younger than me. And so they've never been on a trip that didn't have Nina. And so for them, they can't believe that, you know, I, I was going to be gone. And so I'm like, you guys jinxed me. It's like, now I have to go to the Olympics, you know, <laughs> but it was, I'm super happy. For me, the key to any good performance is uh, routine. You have to stick to your routine, um, stick to the plan um, and be ready to execute that plan, even if you're not at your best that day. Um, so right now, the idea is the next two weeks before even leaving is focusing training on the handful of people that I could draw first, you know, we'll have an idea more or less um, of how things could go there and just training specifics, um, making sure you don't get hurt, making sure you're fed, hydrated, all the other good stuff. Um, and then you have to moving in closer to the event, you've got to make sure you sleep right, you got to make sure uh, you've got your head on and you've got to try to handle stress and uh, all those factors, uh, you know, I've done this for forever. And so I've got a pretty good routine in place. And, um, you know, the key is just being able to pull off the plan on the actual day. I always want to do the best I can by everybody, you know, and so I want to help them, you know, I've, I've never, I've never been somebody, and this is make my sound wrong, but like, you can learn something from anybody and anybody can teach anybody any, uh, something, you know? And so I'm happy if people can find inspiration in things I've done, but they need to know I've found inspiration in things that they've done too. So that's important as well. You know, I don't think anyone's, I, I don't have like celebrity, like admiration stuff that has just never occurred to me to like, be like, oh my God, this person's so great. So for me, I guess it's, I don't want people to do that with me. I want them to know that I'm Nina, that they're cool, I'm cool, and we can all learn stuff from each other. Yeah. I'd have to say that the best thing is just don't give up because there have been, um, I guess now with Athens, uh, Beijing, London, Rio, and now Tokyo. So I've been actively competing for five quads. And I've been in the mix uh, of athletes who could potentially qualify for five quads. And at any point I, in that whole process, I could have given up and I could have said, you know what, um, I'm going to go do something else. And actually, I did go and do something else. I am, uh, I have, you know, multiple degrees and I have always worked for myself. I've managed to be self-employed um as a teacher and translator and i'm working on my mba now and so um you can always go and do something else but you shouldn't give up on your dream thank you shackley family go shackley go usa